Hey, so this is the second video of the HTTP orchestration technique and we will deal with this crazy API. Uh, it got a rate limiter. It only allows you to send five requests every 100 milliseconds from the same API and it randomly throws some errors. And the end goal here is to handle the rate limiter. And in case of any random failures, we will retry the request so we will have we will start by sending 100 requests and anyone any request that fails we need to retry it until it succeeds that's the end goal here and when we retry these requests we need to prioritize the failed requests over the requests that yet to be sent so if i the way i will do this i will have a queue so I have now five promises. This is the, this is my queue. I have five promises inside the queue. Uh, I'm going to set the promise, the queue promise. Only execute them in patches of two, for example. And now the first iteration, I will dequeue these two. So I dequeue them. I will run this. I will run them concurrently. This one will will be succeeded. This one will fail. The failed one, I will go back to the queue after dequeuing these two and put it at the front so this is this is the failed one i will return it to the beginning of the queue which will shift the order of execution because i'm only said because i said only execute them in patches of two so this is now the order of execution if this one failed again i will put it at the beginning of the queue this is the way i'm gonna do that uh, but not to make things super complicated and hard for me to record I will do this video in patches then stick them together so you might find some cutters in the videos and the first problem i'm going to solve is the rate limiter uh now to do this i'm going to use a package called promocq it's a very nice package for handling concurrency with concurrency uh, with queues and there is another package called got this is an http request um, package it's really nice it's, I like it more than Axios because it comes with some pre-configured things that I like. Like, for example, they by default retry the request for you, uh, which we will disable in this video because it does not make sense in our case. And I will show you that in a moment. Now to start, I will import the promise queue class and got from got. And I'm going to initialize my app. I will simulate initializing my app. So from or array from uh 100 i will do god dot get and this would be the endpoint for my api like this now of course this this will fail for multiple reasons i already run them both so we got internal response error and the whole app will crash because i'm not handling errors now the first thing i'm going to do i'll remove this console log and i will remove the randomize like 500 responses i'll just only i will only for now return 200s and i will fix the rate limiting issue now if we run everything again which happens automatically when i save we will get another error from the client that the response code is 429 4, too many requests so we need to fix this and to do to do that i will initialize a promise a promise queue with a concurrency of five because the max limit here is five and this will not be enough because i can run the, this concurrency configuration means that out of the 100 promises i will run five concurrently if one of them failed or succeeded i will remove it uh, or i will dequeue one of the promises left out of the 95 then run it uh, with the four that are still running concurrently so this means on like theoretically we could end up running in 100 millisecond any amount of promises uh, because it will immediately just uh, like shuffle them around and just run them one by one or run always five and as soon as one of them finishes it will just get the another one and put it there and just run it so we need somehow to always to also control that by only letting it only run five promises and if every 100 milliseconds and 
if one of them failed or succeeded don't do anything just wait until the others uh, are rejected or resolved then go run the, the next five and always wait 100 milliseconds uh, to do this there is this thing called interval cap so this is says only run five in an interval and our interval i will do 110 milliseconds because um if i did the same exact value in the rate limiter we could end up with some kind of, i think we could end up with some kind of race conditions where we'll end up where we where we will end up being rate limited so this is the way i'm gonna do it every 100 milliseconds only run five promises and that's it regardless of what happens to any of these promises don't dq any new promise and run it just wait now if i pipe everything through that so you, you need to you need to add something you, add, you need to add a function that returns a promise this is the way i'm gonna do it now this will work fine and we won't see any kind of error Uh, maybe to make it more clear i will listen to the empty event and i'll define a counter uh, so every time the promise is resolved i will just increase the counter and at the end i will just log it like this I should I should get 100 at the end. Okay, so we solved the rate limiter issue. Now we need to return uh, the 500 errors and fix them. Okay, I'm back now to fix the 500 errors that happens randomly. We need somehow to catch the errors. So we got already one, and the whole app will crashes. And there is something about gut so they by default will retry the requests but because we are not handling errors um, we get this the whole app only crashes so one way to go over this is just to enter a function in the catch callback and that does nothing or only returns this empty string and now uh, God will keep retrying sending these and you see we get z no outputs at all maybe if I console log this thing this one might be more cleaner so we are getting a lot of requests to the API or we are sending a lot of requests to the API and we, our queue still is not empty because we are retrying these promises. These promises have not been resolved or rejected. That's why they are still in the promise queue or they are dealt as, as the same promise. But at some point we will start getting this empty event firing because I think there is a limit of how many times God will retry the requests and we already bypassed that. And we apparently sent way more than 100 requests. And the way I'm gonna do it, or the way I'm gonna proceed now, is to stop this red, to stop this retry logic. Because, and if you do zero, this will stop it. Because I need to do it in a different way. Every time a promise fails, I will de, I will enqueue it back to the queue with a higher priority so to do this priority thing the first 100 requests i'm sending i will give them a, a different kind of priority they will have a priority of uh 10 for example so the lower the priority the higher or wait wait a second uh the higher the priority this is so hard to say if the priority is high this means it will dq last from the promise so the lower the priority the higher or the faster it will be dq'd from the promise eq that's the way it's, it's, it's working so i'm gonna start with so these the initialize app promises will have a priority of 10 then any failed promise i will get this priority value and decrease it and give it a lower priority value which means it'll be dequeued faster uh, yeah it's, it's kind of weird so I'll, well, this is what i will do i'll create a global variable called priority by default it's 10 and i will pass it here i can do this um this is shortcut for this so i can do this uh our app now will do the same thing nothing will change 
Now I need to handle the errors. So on errors, I will get the request object of type request. This is this comes from the God package, and I will destruct two things now to retry the request. Request dot options. I will get the URL object and I will get the method name. Of course, when you are dealing with requests that are paused or delete, this things might change. But I think you can figure that out. I'll show you just the general idea. And after we get this, we need to add to the queue. Um, okay, we need to get it. So first thing, we need to find the method name. These will be capital, like in capital case. So we need to lower them uh just to be sure because sometimes i mean the type says get in small and lower case when get in capital case but i'll just lower them to be sure so method to lower case and i'm going to say return got then method name and this will give us an error because we need to cast that or oh, example also post whatever then i will call give it the url dot to string and retry will be limit of zero and i will define a different two different variables so this will be counter errors counter or success counter error counter so so every time we catch we increase the counter uh this is this is complaining because it says it could be undefined but i know it will always be there so i'll add this operator in typescript um now i need to log the success counter and the error counter i have a nice way to log them let me show you I already installed this package. There is a link to it in the description. It gives us nice colors in the terminal. And I will create this function called print counter. This will be success counter on your counter. And every time we get this empty, empty like event fired from the queue, we just look everything. Um, so if you think about this, every time if one of these requests is fired, then rejected, we will hand we will catch the error. But what if got what if it got rejected again? So we are not handling that. We see we need somehow to dynamically. I mean, if you think about it, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is kind of hard to explain. But we have one promise. It got failed. It will the way we are we are doing now. We will dequeue another promise instead of it in the same queue. Okay. Now we have this inside the queue. Now this got failed. We are not handling that. So we somehow need a way to dynamically handle or handle these pro failed promises regardless of the level. So if this continues to fail uh, like this, we need also to handle the last one that got failed. Um, I will show you that in, uh, in a second. Let's run this first. Uh, we will still get the same result that sometimes not the whole counter will um, succeed not, or the queue will not be emptied and we will get some errors because some of these promises that got failed we handled only the first level of failure we need to continue handling that and the way i'm gonna do it is to create a function called handle errors so const handle errors um yeah it will accept i mean i will pass it here so it will also accept a request of type request you can also make it generic and make it extend i think this is nicer i think and i'll do the same thing so extend this and 
and okay so every time we will add the queue again uh, add the add another promise to replace the failed promise in the queue but we need to give it a, a higher priority by decreasing the previous priority so the first thing we will do is always if, and if in each failure we'll say priority minus minus and we will come here maybe and uh, we will pass it here but at some point the priority will reach like minus one minus two and the, i think the least value is zero so we can do this so if, if priority is equal to minus one it means it's too bad console log i'll add the red color too bad can not try retry anymore because we tried to too many times to retry a specific request so um it's fine i mean if you think about it we are only handling 10 requests or 10 d tries because the priority is 10 we will increase that in a moment and run the code um now if i pass this here i'm still doing the same thing nothing changed i'm only handling the first level now the way, the way i'm gonna do it is add a catch here and only pass the same function i'm i am in so some kind of recursive things here um yeah it's a bit confusing but every time you every time this promise fails i will call the same function which will do the same logic so i'm kind of recursively i think uh, handling these errors so i will always run this code and yeah and i think you now we don't need to hand to increase the counter here because we are only consider something to be a failure when the priority is equal to minus one which means we retried so many times so now that's an actual failure and this also create a function that called that's called handle uh success and this will just increase the success counter for now in your case this could do many more things so then i just pass it like this and the same idea here so let's run the fancy logic okay let's run it again let's increase the priority to a hundred Ah, okay this this is bad sorry that's why i'm getting way, way too many successes okay now everything was succeeded we should get one failure i think i think this is a typo but another thing is uh, because i'm running these things concurrently i think that on mt func command on empty event will be fired multiple times and in one of them uh this failure variable was not yet being updated so i'm going to delay that by 200 milliseconds i think now we will get the correct values okay let's run it again okay well, now we get the correct value so we kept retrying some of the requests but at some point we retried way too many times and we failed uh, another thing you can do is just to completely remove this logic keep retrying indefinitely and at some point you will succeed <laughs> i guess uh yeah so we keep we kept retrying and let's actually let's do total um this will be equal to zero and after regardless of the requests being succeeded or not i would just always increase this by uh, one handle um 
handle counter anyway handle on finally i would always increase this by one pass it here and pass it here and in print counter i will add another let's select this color total would be equal to total let's see how many total requests we actually sent to uh, to make this hundred requests succeed okay let's see that we sent 220 requests so 100 can be succeeded okay um i have so many typos i will fix them and you can find the link in the description for the code uh, and i'm sorry this was kind of uh, hard to explain uh, but let's go through it one more time again uh, after this run is finished okay i think that's pretty okay especially if you're doing some kind of uh a job where an actual user is not being like won't actually see this kind of delay i think that's okay so to recap we simulate initializing an app that sends way too many requests and the api is kind of a crazy api it's got a rate limiter which is not a crazy thing but it's a crazy about randomly sending you 500 responses um it's a 50 50 chance if you think about this now every time a request or a promise is rejected we will invoke this handle errors which will do the, sa the exact same thing but it will lower the priority oops i didn't do that but it will lower the priority of the request which means this request that got rejected it will be in queued at the beginning of the queue so we can run it faster or before the previous requests and we will keep doing that until we send the whole requests uh, or we succeed or we get the we send the whole request and they all succeed that's the end goal and this is why we send 227 requests only for one of them only for 100 of them to be succeeded because these things got failed so many times um yeah and the way we handle handle them no matter how nested they are in the, like in the promise chain you can think of it i think like that it looks like a promise chain for me because every promise fails then we generate a new promise instead of it so to simulate or to handle all of these errors we are kind of passing this the handle error function recursively or i would think of it as a recursive thing uh, to the same catch to the catch handler and the promise here so we will keep doing this until we are succeeding um yeah so i think of course, implementing this in the context of a pre-built application might might require a lot of work, but that's the uh, idea, or that's one way to handle failure in apps. And I've done this so many times in the past, so I thought I will do a video explaining the idea behind it. And this is a very common thing, at least in my experience. And uh, I hope it was useful. Ciao.